Hey Darian Soccer, it's Coach Fortuna Village here. So today we have a fun home, work, uh, home soccer workout for you. First, we have a dynamic warm up. Secondly, we're gonna do some foot skills. Third, we have wall passing. Fourth, we got dribble. And lastly, we are gonna do some quick fitness. Hey guys, so first exercise we are gonna do is a dynamic warm up. You're gonna need a soccer ladder. And if you don't have a ladder, you can use either all the soccer socks you've accumulated over the years, soccer pennies, or you can even use a chalk to draw out the ladder in your driveway. All right guys, so first you're gonna do, we have 10 exercises, okay? First you have uh, one foot in each ladder, all the way to the top, and one foot in each ladder, all the way back. Once you get here, we're gonna do high kicks. Forward, like this. Now you're gonna do back kicks on the way back. All right, second exercise, you're gonna have two feet in each, okay? So one, two, all the way through. Same thing on the way back. Next, we're gonna do high knees. So get those knees all the way up and butt kicks on the way back. Next exercise, you have two feet out, you're gonna go two feet in, all the way to the top. Same thing on the way back. Once you get to the beginning, we're gonna do heel swipes. So heels on the ground, and your hands are coming forward like this. On the way back, we're going to do quad stretch. Next, we have hopscotch. So you're going to have two feet out. You're going to bring one foot in. Two feet out, one foot in. So it should look like this. And then you're going to do the same thing going backwards, okay? Once you get over here, we're going to do a lunge and twist, lunge and twist, lunge and twist. On the way back, you're going to lunge and look over your shoulder. Lunge, look over your shoulder, lunge, look over your shoulder. Next, you have two feet out. You're going to go two feet in, two feet out, two feet in, two feet out. So it should look like this. All the way through. Once you get to the top, you're gonna to do the same thing on the way back. Next we have knee grabs, so grab your knee and come all the way up. On the way back, we're gonna do ankle grabs, okay? So grab your ankle and bring yourself all the way up. So when you get to the, you're gonna do one leg hop all the way to the top, right leg only. Once you get to the top, you're gonna turn around, left leg on the way back. Next, we're gonna open the gate, okay? So open the gate. On the way back, we're gonna close the gate. All right, now we have a crossover, okay? So you're gonna have two feet out, you're gonna cross your right leg over and come to the left. Next, you're gonna cross your left leg over and come to the right. So it should look like this. Same thing on the way back. Side lunges, okay? So you're going left to right and up. On the way back, we have single leg bounds like this. Jump and hold, jump and hold, jump and hold, jump and hold. All right, now you're gonna go one foot in. All right, we have left leg up, right leg on the way back. So you're gonna go one foot in nice and quick like this. Once you get to the top, you're gonna turn around, you're gonna do right leg in. Once you get over here, you're gonna do karaoke. Facing the ladder, karaoke 
facing the ladder back. Now we are going sideways, one foot in, one foot out, and you're gonna alternate like this. Same thing going back. Once you get to the bottom, you're gonna do a long jump. Jump and hold, jump and hold. On the way back, you're gonna do the world's greatest stretch, okay? So it goes like this, you're gonna lunge, come in, twist to the right, twist to the left. So you're doing that on the way back. World's greatest stretch. Hey guys, so next we have ball mastery, okay? We have 10 exercises. You're gonna do each exercise 30 seconds and then you're gonna rest 15 seconds. All right, first one, inside, inside. Go nice and slow. Once you get comfortable, you can go a little bit faster for 30 seconds. So we have toe taps. Nice and easy for 30 seconds. Squeezes. For 30 seconds. You have soul roll stop, so you're going to use the sole of your foot, roll the ball, stop it. So, uh, roll with your sole, stop it, so it looks like this. Next we have soul roll, so we're going to eliminate the stop, so it looks like this. Soul rolls with the sole. You can go nice and slow, and then you can pick it up and go faster. Push pull, so you want to start like this, foot on top of the ball, you're going to pull it back, push with the inside. Pull it back, push with the inside, so it looks like this. Right leg only for 30 seconds. We're doing the same thing on the left side, push pull with the inside. For 30 seconds. Now we're combining the two, okay? So you're gonna push pull with the right, push pull with the left, and it should look like this. For 30 seconds, nice quick feet. Next we have inside V, pull the ball back with the sole of your right, push with the inside and stop it with your left. Pull it back with your left, push with the inside, stop with your right. So it should look like this, small inside V. Next we have inside, inside, roll. Inside, inside, roll. Inside, inside, roll. Inside, inside, roll. Next, we have two touch passing. Pass, control, pass, control. Right foot only though. To the left side. So you're gonna pass with the left, control with the left. Pass, control. Yep. Next, you're gonna pass the ball, control with your soul. Pass, control, right foot only. On the left side, we're going to pass with the inside of our left, control with the sole. Now you have one touch passing, right foot only, okay? So only one touch, right foot only. Back and forth. Go. Same thing, left side, one touch only. Alright guys, we're going to pass with the right, control, touch across with the right, pass with the left, touch across with the left. And you're just going back and forth like this. Okay. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing, except we're gonna use the outside of the foot. So pass with the right, outside left, pass with the left, outside right. So using the outside of our foot to get the ball across. So we're gonna pass and let the ball go behind us and touch it across. Pass with the left, let the ball go behind you, touch it across. Once you get more comfortable, you can go a little bit faster. Now we're going to work on passing it with our laces, okay? So you're just hitting the ball with your laces. Right leg. Do the same thing on the other side with our left foot laces, like this, back and forth, laces only. So you're going to pass the ball, control it, roll it across. Pass the ball, control it, roll it across. So it should look like this. As for this drill, you're going to need six coats or six pairs of socks, all right? First thing we're going to do is right foot only dribbling, like this. Dribble 
e between each count. Once you get to the top, reset and start again. Right foot on. outside right only the outside of your feet like this same thing on the way back reset next we're gonna do L shape okay so you're gonna do L shape with your right touch it across L shape with your left touch it across so it should look like this Once you get top, reset, same thing on the way back. L shape. All right guys, next one you're gonna do L shape going backwards, okay? So turn around, you're gonna do L shape backwards like this. Stop the ball, L shape, and it should look like on the way back. We have outside, inside, and we're using both of our feet like this. So outside left, inside left, outside right, inside right. So it should look like this. Same thing going back. Alright guys, next one we have toe taps. We're going forward. Make sure you're turning those hips as you're weaving in and out through the cones. You're doing the same thing on the way back. Weave in and out. Turn those hips. All right, guys. So now we're going to do toe test, but we're going backwards, okay? So you're pulling it back. Make sure you're looking over your shoulder. Take your time. Same thing, going back. Next we have V shape, okay? So you're gonna pull the ball back like this, push it forward, switch feet, okay? So you should be doing V shape on every cone like this. Same thing going back, okay? You're going backwards this time. So we're gonna finish today's home workout with some fitness, okay? We're gonna do one set without the ball, one set with the ball. You need five cones. Each cone has to be five yards from each other, okay? 